During the first rounds of storms yesterday morning, five teen boys decided to skip school and hang out near an Oak Cliff Creek. The teenagers were swept off their feet in the flash flood water. Two Dallas police officers jumped right in to rescue them or help rescue them. Fox 4's James Rose spoke to those officers. Uh, didn't think twice about going in, I guess, James. Well, you know, Steve, I had a chance to talk with these officers earlier today, and they kind of fill in a lot of the gaps we didn't know yesterday. I was out on the scene yesterday when all this was going on. And one thing we couldn't understand is why were these guys, these five kids, in the creek to begin with? And what we now know is these kids were in the creek and, and just playing around, skipping school, and the water started to come up because of the heavy rain, and the walls were too steep for them to climb up to get out. So the water just rose, and all they could do was cling to trees. So that's when the officers arrived on the scene, and when they saw them, they realized, you know, this is something they never thought they would have to do. And they did. Officers Julian Harris, a nine-week rookie, fresh out of the academy, and 22-year-old veteran senior corporal Monty Cates were the first ones to see all five of the kids in the creek clinging to roots and tree branches in the flash floodwaters. When they lost their grip and all five started to go downstream, both officers did what they were never trained to do. They jumped into the torrential water with all their gear on and were able to quickly save two of the five kids that were in the creek. And they say they really didn't even have time to think, simply to act. I didn't think we were going to be able to get any of them, honestly. I didn't know how we were going to get them. You know, I thought I was witnessing, you know, five deaths. You know, I just, we just didn't know. We were just scared they weren't going to make it. As fast as that current was going, the only thing that was on my mind is getting that kid out of the water. We had to get all five of those kids out of that water somehow. Mm -hmm. I'm just thankful. The department is thankful. The city is thankful for, for cops like these two and, and sacrificing uh, their lives to protect another. A lot of people are thankful by what these officers were able to do. All five of those kids were rescued, taken to the hospital, and we believe treated and released. We still don't have their names because they're all uh, juveniles. Now, I can tell you that uh, Corporal Cates told me he really doesn't swim well. And uh, by comparison, Officer Harris says he's a strong swimmer, you know, but just not necessarily in uh, flood water wearing full gear. So these officers really put it all on the line. I mean, just imagine with the, the heavy gear that they were wearing, their gun belts and all the other equipment on, uh, trying to swim and let alone uh, reach out and rescue uh, two of these officers. So, you know, quite an incredible story they, uh, they told us. And, you know, again, they're not trained to do any kind of swift water rescue. That's what the fire department does. They train for those kinds of things. And even those guys are very cautious when they have to get in the water, Steve. All right, great story, James. Thanks for introducing us to these guys. Thanks.